Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Quark, and today we're playing more Timberborn. Last time we left off, we did a lot and a little all at the same time. I'm going to move my mic a little bit so it's sitting in front of my face a little bit better. I'm thinking the reason why my audio sounds so loud and everything is I've been sitting really close to my mic and that's not the best thing to do. These beavers are doing their thing. They're not producing beavers like I'd hope, but we do have... An unemployed beaver over here who should be young so we're gonna go ahead and move them over to three Boop. so we have one unemployed beaver over here which we can go ahead and we can path over and start having them do their own food and now they have all of these amazing berries to gather and that's gonna make them a little more self-sufficient so we're no longer gonna have to rely on these what we really need to worry about is over here. We definitely need more housing. Um, I'm thinking for now what we can do, rotate our camera. So right here, we can delete this path. We can make stairs right there. Then we can path around it like that. And then we just create paths here. Then we can build three more housing <laughs> up here. Um, so now we gotta redo our pathing. Because now we need to have paths that are a story up. So what I'm thinking is we'll create platforms up here. Well, stairs going up right here. And that will create more housing for everybody. Because that would be 6, 6, and 6. That would be 20... 18. That would be 18 housing. Oh, man. Hopefully they get all that built soon. And then... We're going to eventually need more, but for now, that should be fine. Looks like we are now finally building up on gears and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and unpause the paper mill and have that going. Go ahead and unpause that and get it built. So that way we can start getting our, our metal blocks so we can start building other things that we want to get done. Explosive factory is not very important. In fact... The paper mill can be paused. Basically, the explosive factory makes explosives so that way we can irrigate the land a little bit better, but it's not necessary right now for us. I, but I do want... I do want to get this up here to level 11. Unlock and reach an average of well-being to level 11 while playing folk tales. Yeah. I want to unlock the iron teeth because I think that would be pretty interesting and a little more challenging. Because iron teeth don't produce the same way as these beavers. These beavers just need empty space in their houses to be able to produce. Whereas Iron Teeth actually have these breeding pods that you have to do. So that'd be kind of interesting. And they don't need houses like folktales do. Folktales need houses to breed. Iron Teeth don't. The only thing that housing will do for the Iron Teeth is make them live longer. So, building lacking workers. Okay, we are dangerously low on workers. Luckily, we got these houses. People are having kids. Our children's up to 10 over in this district. So, well, that's all going well. Once they start growing up, then everybody will start filling in properly. Got another drought coming up, but it looks like this district finally has first child. Where are you? You're over here. Look at him. He's so cute. He's just doing nothing. That's fine, because you're eventually going to be a water pupper. Which I guess we can go ahead and start a water pumper. We can pause one of these guys. Because we don't need this many builders now. They're not doing anything. So we can have you guys pump water right here. And then we can start creating some water storage. Because separating them from the other beavers would be really, really nice. The more separation we can have, the better. But I just realized they're not going to be pumping this water for long. Because there's no dam built. So we'll probably also have them build a dam. Or a couple dams. One here, and maybe one right here. So that way, they have this section over here for water. And it'll hold the water, so that way they can start farming, hopefully. Looks like our smelter is now done, and he is in here, beavering away, creating some metal blocks. That's gonna... Uh, that's gonna be helpful, because we can start using it for decorations and stuff. I think a good way to raise this up would be social stuff. Campfires, rooftop terraces, all that good jazz. Um, I don't think rooftop terraces is going to be a big one, but we can do some campfires. And we can put them over here because 
they're out of the way and we have a path right here we can path them up to and that'll help raise it up a little bit um as for the rooftop terrace i can't think of anywhere to really put that let's see leisure rooftop terrace yeah because the way it faces i wouldn't be able to do it but it has to be put on top of another building and we don't typically build buildings that way, so we have nowhere to really put this. We'll eventually figure out a place, but for now, there's just really nowhere it can go. Actually, now that I think about it, I can put it right here, and I can do platforms. See? We did it. So now they have a lot of leisure activities. So a couple beavers can sit here, a couple beavers can sit here. That puts our well-being up to six. I don't think, uh, I, I don't know how else we're going to get it up there. I think these beavers are causing an issue with it. We will give them a log pile though, since they are bringing over wood. Log pile would help them. Uh oh. I forgot to pause. Oh, thank God they didn't pump out all the water. Luckily, this one's only, I don't think I went through a full day of them pumping. Oh, they... They're still swimming across, okay. Once the water gets low enough to start walking across, I just scared the crap out of myself. Because I did not realize... Oh man, that was almost really bad. Now that we're starting to get some metal blocks, I guess we could start looking into monuments. They're really expensive to unlock. But... I think we can do... We can do the labor one right now. It only takes 200 wood. And look at that huge area that it has an effect of. So we can put it up here. And it'll affect all of our houses. So we'll plop that there. And it's just a giant beaver holding a log. And that'll also help us out with some awe. And we might want to start looking into switching over to potato production. Food is doing horrible. I wonder if it's because we're still giving them food. And they no longer need it. So we're going to stop that, so that way our beavers can have their food. And I'm thinking about adding some potato production, but I don't know where. Now that I think about it, we can actually add another farmhouse. Alright, so we got that marked out, and the reason why is these will add more. Because see we got grilled potatoes, so that will also add to the population's well-being. Also, once these statues are done, that'll help out a lot too. This is almost done. We got five more. And boom! Look at them up there. Yeah, and that's gonna raise, yep, there we go. We're up to seven now. Uh, labor, move, uh, labor or monument. Also, what's cool about that is it will do, oh, it's just awe. Some of these actually do stuff, but I guess not that one. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, next will be the Flame of Progress. We need to unlock that first, and we don't have enough science. We only have 700 because we keep spending science like it's wood. But that's fine. Um, they're going to start working on the farm. The farm is done, and they are doing potatoes. So we can start doing grilled potatoes soon. So that would be really, really, really helpful also. Because we are running out of spatter dock. If we could keep this up here alive, we could do spatter dock up here, but we can't keep it alive, so I'm not really worried about it too much. We have a lot of beavers. I did not realize that we have so many beavers now. Maybe building all of this uh, housing wasn't the best idea. How are they looking over here? We got two children now, and we got one unemployed, so that means I can throw him over here. Um... Resource-wise, they're doing fantastic. Uh, they're getting their own food, so it's no longer important for them to be bringing over food. Uh, water is going to be no longer important for these beavers. So they're just going to be bringing over wood. That's it. I think they're doing quite well on their own. And once we get this cleared out a little bit more, we can start doing a farmhouse. And it looks like they also got their dams done over here. So I wonder how this is going to work out. I wonder if it's going to create a bad effect since we have it levied up here but we'll find out once the water starts fully flowing okay so the water started flowing over in this area oh we're flooding holy crap what happened 
Why is that so high now? Um, that's flowing fast too. Holy shoot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mark this off with a dam. We're going to see if that helps. That water's flowing fast. Look at that. They are going. They're producing a crap ton. Oh, they slowed down. Okay. All right. They got their water. <laughs> I just freaked out for a second there. Everything looks like it's going fine. Uh, their water isn't going to stay around for too long. So we might be able to open that up. We'll try it. Open this up and see how this goes. Hopefully it keeps flowing that way. Okay, I went ahead and replaced this dam with floodgates because it's actually working very, very well. So we'll replace it with floodgates. So that way we can have a water storage up here that we can adjust the water to and it'll flow down to here as needed. So far that hasn't been a problem, but I'm trying to think ahead. Other than that, everything is looking very well. This water is finally starting to seep over just a little bit into here, but that's fine. Just as long as they have water, that's all I care about. Uh oh, uh, food ran away from us. We now have starving beavers. I don't know why. We have starving beavers. We have so much food. We have 200. We have 200 berries. Oh my God. Okay. We got him in here making grilled potatoes. It looks like our spatter dock has officially ran out and our carrots are being consumed almost faster than we're making them. Oh no. Come on. We don't need anyone dying of hunger. Oh God. All right. looks like they're starting to produce more food. Oh man. I don't know how I let this one get away from me. We're doing good though. We are at nine uh, on our rating. We just need one more thing to get our rating up and we'll be good. Then we can unlock iron teeth. So come on guys. Come on. You got this. Live, damn it. Okay. I went ahead and switched him over to grilled chestnuts since we have a bunch of chestnuts in stock. So hopefully that can start adding more food because as it sits our beavers are starving to death and that's not that's not awesome that's very scary okay our food is relatively speaking keeping up uh spatter dock is now being produced so it's now being grilled again grilled potatoes are being made chestnuts are being made I think we might actually survive this one. I just freaked out. I didn't realize how fast our beaver population has escaped us. <sighs> and it really caused a damper on the food situation. We're at 9 though. We're almost at 10. Hopefully we get there soon. That'd be great. I would love to play as the Iron Teeth. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to build them a temple. Uh, I know that sounds stupid to unlock because I'm just complaining about... Put it there. He's complaining about our science, but this temple will help out because it'll give him spirituality and that will help with getting us up there to the next level. Cause I'm thinking other than the food where this place is basically done, we're doing fantastically and we have plenty of beavers, two districts. This district is doing fantastic by itself. I don't even have to watch this one. They just kind of do their own thing. So once this temple's temple is built, this should provide us our next level up. Oh, it went down. Why'd it go down? It went down. Why'd it go down? I don't know why, but it went down. I don't like that. Maybe it's not food because the food is fine. There it goes. It went back up. Why? Oh, it went back up because of spirituality. Right? Yeah, the temple. Okay. Maybe once one of these two go up, it'll go up again. I'm not too sure. We'll let it run though. We'll see. Um, I'm not too sure why it went down though. Another dry season. We're going to go ahead and slap some small temples around or small things around. They'll provide a little bit more spirituality. Who knows? This might be the little thing we need. We're just kind of slapping around everywhere. Boom. There we go. Your beavers are now happier than ever. You reach a new high score of 10. That means, oh, we need 11. Damn it. Well, we made it to 10. 
Mm, wouldn't take us long. We could probably get to 11. Let's find out. Let's not run a little bit longer. For some reason, I thought we needed 10. I don't know why. I'm just really excited to play as the... As the as the uh, Iron Teeth, this might be the end of this end of the season. I want to say. I don't know. We might have another another episode where we're just uh, grinding away at this this level. Here, here's something stupidly big. I don't need a carousel. And what makes that stupidly big is it takes a lot of <laughs> a lot of power. Um, so that means we're gonna need some more windmills. Now it just needs power to operate, and that should be the connecting piece to get it. So once they get these built, that should do it. Drought has started. I'm gonna pause all these buildings. They are no longer necessary. Again. And I didn't think this properly, and I didn't build my or do my water stock like I wanted to. He he can pump away. That's fine. They they don't need the water. All right. Let's see if this does it. Oh, there it goes. Doo, 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 doo. Iron Teeth has officially been unlocked. New faction, Iron Teeth. Uh, happier high score, got 11. So that's what did it. That's what pushed it over the edge. Iron Teeth have been unlocked. That took a lot. But look at them over there having fun. Let me see if I can get them in view. Look at them. They're just spinning around, having fun. Let's make them spin faster. Blah. Nah. They're having fun over there. Oh, man. We did a lot in this one. We got the temple built. We got some shrines placed everywhere. We got the big beaver standing up there looking at everybody. Making sure they're beavering away properly. Look at him. He's like, yeah. Do your beaver thing. Uh, these guys over here were doing fantastic all on their own. They don't need any help. Oh, this was a long one. We did a lot more in this one than I expected, but I really wanted to get the new faction unlocked. So that'll be end, I guess, of season one. And then we're going to start back up with the Iron Teeth faction. I'm really excited about that. If you guys want to see me keep this one going, let me know. Um, I'm quite sure I can juggle both of them. But other than that, these beavers are done. These beavers are good. They they don't need anything else. So I guess that's end season one. That feels weird to say, end of season one. Um, but I thank you all for watching. If you guys like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you're not already currently subscribed, I definitely recommend subscribing because obviously I'm trying to make as much content as possible for you guys to enjoy. And, yeah. You can always comment down below if you ever wanted to chat with me or anything. Totally don't mind chatting with you guys. And other than that, I guess I will see you all in the next season of Timberborn.